The Thermaltake Flow Ring RGB 360TT Premium Edition sports three 120mm Ring Plus RGB fans and a glorious LED water block with native support for socket AM4 and LGA2066. Superior cooling and a swarm of software-controlled addressable RGB LEDs make this CLC a perfect pairing for your unlocked CPU. Click the link in the description for more info. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. I would like to start this video off by introducing you to LG's NanoCell TV. I like PC gaming on this TV very much, which is something I've never said about any TV ever until now. I enjoyed my gaming experience on this thing so much, in fact, that when I visited the product's marketing page to learn more about its gaming prowess, I was shocked to find no mention of the LCD's gaming capabilities, but rather a laundry list of other features. What could possibly deserve more attention than being the holy grail of gaming TVs? Would this thing make me breakfast? Clean the house and guilt trip me about it later, maybe? I mean, I already have a wife. Clearly, LG has whipped up something special for its third generation of Super UHD TVs, something I'm just too curious about not to investigate further before circling back to gaming. As the name suggests, it all boils down to LG's new NanoCell LCDs, which use uniformly sized particles approximately one nanometer in diameter. The end result is improved color gamut and a significant reduction of color distortion at sharp viewing angles. I can confirm, not only are the colors rich and precise, but their accuracy is maintained remarkably well from virtually any seat in the house. This is what I call the Rob Lowe effect, where there are no bad angles. LG cleverly demoed the feature by having two competing pro soccer players take aim at a section of the screen from a 60 degree angle, one a conventional LCD, the other sporting nano cell technology. You can guess how the story ends, but I'll drop a link below if you'd like to watch two dudes compete in a game of skilled ball fondling. Overall, the picture quality on this unit is excelente. While its blacks are no match for LG's OLED panel, even appearing slightly gray at times, NanoCell delivers incredibly crisp 4K images that are sure to wow the masses, as well as the enthusiast gamer. This IPS beauty also ships with Dolby Vision and active HDR for producing richer highlights and an automatic color boost whenever you feed the TV HDR content. The WebOS 3.5 implementation is awesome and will likely eliminate the common plebs need for something like an HTPC. The software sports a clean UI with a sensible layout that pairs nicely with the ergonomic Magic Remote for intuitive navigation. Dedicated Netflix and Amazon buttons bring premium content right to your fingertips, and a voice command button lets you boss your TV around, presumably like a boss. I was skeptical at first of the remote's mouse-like cursor, but my fears quickly subsided with its pinpoint accuracy and responsiveness. I'm also a big fan of the clickable scroll wheel. Is that an armor on switch in there? <laughs> no, it's definitely not. While I plan to eventually connect a soundbar, the unit comes equipped with Harman Kardon speakers which sound good for built-in drivers, but are overall nothing to write home about. The speakers are housed inside of a beautiful frame measuring just 6.9 millimeters deep at its thinnest point, with super thin bezels all around and a gorgeous stand that I think trumps LG's OLED models. Of course, there's also a base mount in the back if you wish to float this guy off the wall. As for I.O., you get 3 USB and 4 HDMI to drive 4K at 60 Hz, though some DisplayPort connectivity would have been the cherry on top. Now, all the features I've covered up until this point are no doubt impressive, but to hell with all of them. Let's talk about gaming. Notice when switching between picture modes, the image quickly changes from profile to profile, but the second we enter game mode, the screen goes black for a moment, meaning more than just a glorified filtration process has taken place. In game mode, the TV enters a lowered input lag state that rtings.com found to hover at just 15 milliseconds, equating to less than a one frame delay. To put things in perspective, several of the top gaming TV articles I found are praising units with 20 to 30 milliseconds of input lag. At 15 milliseconds, my filthy casual eyes can't even tell this TV from a high-end gaming monitor. Fast-paced shooters like CSGO and Doom are incredibly responsive and fun to play on the big screen when your physical movements and the screen's output are synced in perfect harmony. Fortunately, I didn't notice any excess of motion blur either, so visuals remained sharp and focused even in the most frantic of character movements. Finally, as it turns out, the unit's enhanced viewing angles don't just benefit media playback, but ensures anyone joining you for a local co-op adventure has a great view as well. There really isn't much this 55-inch piece of 4K glass won't do to convince you that ultra-wide monitors still have some competition in the realm of immersive gaming. Input lag has always been the deal breaker for having a battle station in the living room, but TVs like this are making that dream a reality. A reality I would very much like to enjoy right now. So on that note, guys, let me know what you think about this thing in the comments, and feel free to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. 
Before you guys go, I command you to check out Bitwit Ultra, my ad-free early access channel for a buck fifty a month. The first two weeks are completely free and you can back out any friggin' time. As always guys, I'm Kyle Bitwit. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see y'all in the next video.